It's me Rishad. Today I am showing you how to create a animated Instagram stories in Premiere Pro. First download the elements from my description link. Then you can also access the source file. So jump to the Premiere. videohive.net you can get a lot of inspiration for instagram um, stories so simply search instagram story so you will get a lot of inspirations this is one of the video so let us make uh, let us recreate something uh, from this so yeah i chose this version so open premiere you can also make in after effects so i will create a premiere now i will i will upload some of elements so you can download from description this is the elements and some photos also and you can also download different photos from pixels or you can use your own anyway i create a new so sequence in premiere pro now go to setting create a new sequence and custom set edge mode into custom so we have to create a portrait mode sequence that's why so frame size 720 into 1280 and also you can change the sequence name into instagram stories like that anyway we created a, a portrait sequence now we have to import the elements that you can get from my description link Anyway, just drag and drop the elements into the project window. Now, let us check again the video. This is our reference video. So, we have to import a first image. So, I choose this one and just zoom by pressing plus button in keyboard. Then, right click scale to frame size. Then, adjust the scale until the fit now okay we, we are ready to start now you have to create a new circle so if you press shift key in keyboard you get a, a proportional circle now this is the circle i just change the label color into yellow because it's easy to understand now it's not necessary but it's easy to understand just change the color into white now change the zoom in to i think yeah 20 is 25 is enough so you can animate like from here to here like this now anyway we have to create a another circle so you can scale the size from here also anyway we have to create the same circle in the same layer so i just zoom now you can copy the right click duplicate the same circle and move into here yeah like this now you can animate the shape in three method one is vector motion if you animate in vector motion both shape moving same time also the motion same thing so we have to animate each shape separately so i just change the name into shape 2 so anyway we have to animate the both circles separately so you have to go to the shapes and under the shapes you can see the position so you can animate position values so at the starting it should be outside so add a keyframe in position and move a little bit your cursor your playhead and change the position like this now we animate the first circle now we have to animate the second circle so drop down and find the position value in circle 2 means shape 2 starting should be here the ending should be here and go to the starting it should be in outside it's not visible at starting so 
if you are animating yeah you can see you can get animation like this anyway you can move different angle you can animate in different ways you can animate in scale rotation it's rotation not effects anyway you can animate in different values okay anyway we create a circle animation next select the both keyframe and right click and temporal interpolation and ease out change the ease into ease out now drop down the position you can get the graph like this if you zoom the time this plus button you can see more deeply then change the graph like this so we want as more detailed ease so that's why we change the graph you can change the graph like this now anyway go to the shape one same before we animated value select the both keyframe right click temporal interpolation ease out and drop down the position change the graph like this is very important it's enhance the animation style anyway we have to change we have to increase the keyframe timing so yeah we are done now um yeah okay now you can copy you we want the a small uh, stroke in there so you can copy the same layer by pressing alt hold the alt key and click and drag you can create a copy of the same layer now shape one select bottom layer and shape one remove the fill add a stroke into 12 or 8 and same thing in shape 2 now you can see yeah, oh it's very time just to zoom and adjust the timing of second layer yeah we already we almost done now i think stroke size is very heavy so we have to decrease the stroke size select bottom layer and change the stroke into five, seven yeah seven is enough yeah both change into seven now we are ready now you can yeah we are ready now you can select both layer and nest so before you have to increase the size of this graphic so normal instagram story is 6 15 second you can set it into 6 15 second yeah, then select both layer and nest you can change the name into mask because we have to make it as a mask now we want to yeah look at this starting white then visible through that circle animation so we have to add a track mat so move into the both mask into three video layer three and this is into video two and create a fx key and track mat key apply into the images means bottom layer and go to the fs control and track mat key in here select the video 3 because our uh, mask video in video layer 3 that's why we are choosing video 3 and change the composting matte luma i think matte luma and matte alpha matte both are working here now you can see both are working here no problem because it's a white color and it's a shape that's why it's working both anyway you have to create a background so create a color mat and okay now you can create a color and also you can pick a color from your images so i use a dropper and pick color from images then okay okay then apply the color mat at the bottom layer 
yeah now you can see like you can get the video like this now if you are look at the mask layer so we have to sorry select the images and apply starting at the ending add a keyframe and starting increase the scale value yeah we we'll get a motion like this so we add a little dynamics for the images now select the keyframe ease out i think yeah sorry ease in in here is ease in you can change the graph like this yeah increase the duration of the keyframe yeah we all most done yeah now we have to add a turbulent displays sorry yeah go to video effects some jet this short and turbulent displays into the mask layer now you can animate the turbulent displays value in here and I think the, you can animate the size value at 0 there is no turbulence 0 means 2 so at starting no turbulent and ending should be 44 yes ok a little wiggle yeah that's we are it's ok it's not necessary but it's improve the visual now create a rectangle you can add a new post or swipe up action so create a new rectangle and change increase the zoom change the stroke into fill we don't need any stroke so we need a fill color change the color into white and now you can animate the this box so before we are animating so we have to add a text top of this layer so i think this is shape one and create a new text so go to type tool and click on the text box you can write your text so i choose new post mm, yeah you can change the color of the title and you can change the font style and everything in essential graphics make it center and change the size font size and align the font the text based on the box anyway now we have to animate the box and shapes so there is an option here we can animate the box so the text still on there so there is an option select the text and pin it to pin to shape then it's not happen because we have to pin so select the text and pin to shape one and apply the anchor point yes apply the pin now go to the shape and select them if you move the shape the text also move because we pin and some in older version premiere it's not you don't get the pin updates so you have to go to the motion or vector then you can animate the position it's both will 
move same time you can choose either this way or the previous one in i choose this pin method so it's very fast and easy so a pin to the shape then change the shape position value in here yeah said the i think at starting is not visible so move it down add a keyframe in position and move it till bit down your play head then change the position value into the top yes we are done now select the both keyframe temporal interpolation is out and position change the graph like this mm sorry we have to change the position yeah keyframe If you play again, you will get a no. Very fast. Let me change fit. Yeah, done. We are done. And you can change the text into swipe up or something like that. Anyway. you can change into swipe up that is better for instagram if you have that if you have followers more than 10000 you can use swipe up or you have to use ig instagram ig tv link so you can add a swipe up in ig tv anyway we done the swipe up animation now apply the light lights leaks you can change the light leaks change the opacity the blending mode into screen and you can also duplicate the same light leaks because it's short version so right click the second speed and duration reverse speed and because for looping i think we have to change reduce the opacity to 60 and same the second light leaks also now you can add a line elements so before alpha yeah top of you can add a line alpha for the main text is very huge so i just decrease the size of this line and move it to the top and just rotate it yeah like this i think rotation is very over so i just decrease the rotation into minus 9 minus 7 5 or this like this a little rotation that's only we want anyway we added the animated line so next we have to create a text so click on the type tool apply write your text new youtube video new post or you can type anything and also rotate this a little bit and 
I think I just change the text into new YouTube video and decrease the font size now um, yeah we done background noise <laughs> some dogs anyway change the label color into purple it's not necessary it's, but it's easy your workflow so anyway change into green now just copy the line alpha or just move into the top layer because why we have we want a a reveal so move into the top of the title now we have to add a track mat key for the title so select the title layer fx and apply the key track mat apply the track mat into the title now go to the fx control window change the mat into because our line alpha in video we video layer 8 so select video layer 8 now change the compost using matte luma because we are using black and white images now we want a background so copy the same video same line alpha into the bottom you can by pressing hold alt key now we almost done now we are done now you can create any and any instagram stories based on video hype so the same you can apply the same technique so just copy the mask layer and speed and duration so we want a in out animation that's why reverse the speed and decrease the duration now you will get a out animation also here like this that's why we duplicate the mask then reverse so increase the color matte size yeah now we will get a out animation also now I am talking about you can create any kind of any Instagram stories by this technique so you have to find a nice reference then recreate it now we have we want a text till until the end so at the last frame select this one add a frame hold and alpha line 2 increase the hold frames duration and increase the title and also here add a hold frame increase the duration that's all select the all three the nest you can change the name into title yeah we are done now if you yeah we are done yes and you can apply the line elements while swipe up so you have to right click scale to frame size yes you can add the line elements there are different animated line elements available you can do, you can apply anything anyway we are done with this post now you can if you are going to the reference you can create any instagram stories the technique is simple and very easy now let us check a different 
for example let us change the alpha and also you can apply the title if you want the title you can go to my youtube channel you can available lot of different titles and you can also use this glitch title anyway what happen if we replace the mask into overlay mask so go to youtube search the ink overlay mask you can get lot of different ink overlay mask so just download the ink overlays i think i already given this file to you so queue download this one of my favorite site to download the youtube videos so i just copy the link then paste the link yeah you can download anyway download some different kind of ink overlays then i just delete the mask the circle mask from here and apply the import the second i think we already import the second images so i just delete the color right to the bottom so down you can apply the in elements just import the ink alpha matte into the premiere pro you can use this one you can use this one i think this is better that can drop the video into timeline and scale the video means the ink overlay just scale the ink overlay now we have to change the black matte into alpha matte luma because we are using black and white video that's why and also scale to frame size and increase the scale little bit the bottom image now we will get a nice transition like this so this is the technique this is the base now your idea your choice create your own style your own method and if I change the in blot into in drop yeah to this you will get a different animation different transition and we have to increase the scale of this elements the ink transition yeah it says nice ink drop it's only we can only see the second image through that ink so try with different ideas different style and hope you enjoy it if you don't subscribe please hit on the subscribe button and i have a plan to start a new after effects masterclass so stay tuned